Hey there. Let's demonstrate how quick and easy it is to use Geo plugin for automatic detection of user location data like city, country, longitude, latitude, and more. Okay, fire up your favorite code editor and create a new example.php file. Now the first thing we'll do in our PHP script is get the user IP address, which is a very simple procedure in PHP. Now the remote file that we want to access for the Geo plugin API is this and I'll put it here as a comment directly in the script so I'll go down to the next line and I'll type in geo and we'll make that equal to file get contents function and the parameter that we're going to pass is that URL and type in unserialize open parenthesis and then go here after the closing parenthesis for the file get contents function and put another closing parenthesis for the unserialize function. So remember file get contents on this URL is going to return a serialized array. Then we unserialize it to make it an array object in PHP and then this geo represents that array object. This variable geo represents the array object. So the next line down let's type in country is equal to we just put our geo array object, put opening, closing brackets, semicolon, and in between the brackets, we're going to put a string, and that string is going to represent the array element that we want to access. In our case, since we want the user's country, we're going to put geo plugin underscore country name. Now you can now echo the country variable, and the user's country will display. Now let's go ahead and copy this line and paste it a couple of more times and the first thing we'll access is the city the next one we'll get the region and then lastly we'll access the country so this one can stay the same for the region we put geo plugin underscore region and for the city we put geo plugin underscore city and I'll show you all of the strings that you can possibly put here now in the next line for testing purposes we're just going to echo now run this on a live PHP enabled server. And here are the results that I get. My city is Pisgah Forest. My region is NC for North Carolina. And my country is United States. Now what if I wanted to list the region name better? I can access region name element of the geo array. Now reload your application. Let's refresh it. Now you can see region lists North Carolina, the full name of the region. Now you have to keep in mind that the location is going to be all relative to the IP address that the user has and not their house exactly, not their own address. It's going to be relative to their IP address, which could be relative to the internet service provider they use. All right, let's quickly recap and then we'll talk about some other important stuff. So the first thing we did in our script is we access the user's IP address. Then we can use that IP address variable in the string that is the URL for the external call that we need to make or the external file that we need to include into this one. So we use file get contents to call that external file into our script. Now remember that gives us a serialized array. I have a hard time saying that word. Serialized. Serialized. I always want to smash everything together. <laughs> it gives you a serialized array. Now you have to use unserialize on that result if you want it to be an actual array object that you can access the way we did here. Now so I'll just throw in a comment here, a multi-line comment that shows all of the different strings that you can access. You can get their latitude and longitude to plot them on a map. So you can actually plot anyone onto a, a Google map if you want, according to their latitude and longitude. Now Geo Plugin is a free API that uses databases maintained by MaxMind.com, which most other geo IP services also use the maxmind.com databases. And I want to stress that there are many geo IP APIs available for PHP if you do some looking around. And PHP also has its own geo IP extension 
and a set of functions that you can install databases for and configure to work on your server. So you have to actually go in and configure your server to work with the GeoIP extensions that PHP offers. And PHP's GeoIP functions also rely on databases maintained by MaxMind.com. So all of that means that whether you configure GeoIP to work on your own server or whether you tap into APIs from external services like we did in this tutorial, the MaxMind.com databases are most likely what will be used to populate the location data that you request. Now another thing that I have to note with you is that GeoIP data can also be accessed using JavaScript and other languages. PHP is not the only technology that can access this information within your programs. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, click on the subscribe button to tune into Adam's channel. He produces new videos on a regular basis. Below the subscribe button are a few more of his video tutorials that other viewers have found to be helpful or inspiring. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.